There is great darkness in this world, but is your light shining or do you have it hidden under a bushel? Let's talk about that. Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. Matthew 5 verse 14 through 16 says, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. This scripture indicates someone that knows Christ but has hidden the Christ they know from the rest of the world. As believers in Christ Jesus, we take on his name as Christians, his essence and the infilling of the Holy Spirit. And because God is light, once we take his name, his essence, his Holy Spirit, we take the indwelling of his light in us. But is your light shining or do you have it hidden? Once we receive this light, we should not hide it. We have a world filled with darkness that depends on our light to shine. Why should we shine our light? Let's look at the importance of light in the natural. According to NASA, nothing is more important to us on earth than the sun. Without the sun's heat and light, the earth would be a lifeless ball of ice-coated rock. The sun warms our seas, stirs our atmosphere, generates our weather patterns, and gives energy to the growing green plants and provide the food and oxygen for life on earth. Without the sunlight, the earth's atmosphere would eventually collapse. Radiation would seep in and earth and earth would be an inhospitable wasteland drifting aimlessly through space. Without your light shining in this world filled with darkness, the people around you that does not know the light are drifting aimlessly through darkness. John 12 tells us that for he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whither he goeth. We are meant to shine. We are the light of this world. Our lives are to drive out darkness and draw people closer to the Father. 2 Corinthians 4, Paul says, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. The God of this world, Satan, blinds the minds of unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of Jesus' glory, hence keeping them in darkness. But how... How do we walk in light? Always point back to the light source. When Jesus said, let your light shine before others, that was just a part of the verse. He went on to give the reason why it is important to shine so that they may see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. Our goal is never to bring recognition to ourselves but to bring glory to God. Before you can be a light to others, take a look at your life. Has sin dulled the evidence of Christ in you? Maybe it takes time, or maybe we should take time, stop for a moment and ask God to reveal any sin that may be that we may be ignoring. Ask God for his forgiveness and help in changing our heart. We'll never be perfect, but we need to address our lives so that our light can shine for someone else to see. We have a responsibility to make a difference in people's lives as Christians. 
We offer hope when there is none. We offer encouragement when it is needed the most. We offer kindness despite or, or despite being surrounded by hate. We offer compassion in a world that cares about the bottom line. We offer patience when you're met with impatience. We offer to pick someone up, dust them off, give them a hand so they can regain their light and glow. We offer Jesus. Your words, thoughts, prayers, and action are salted with Jesus and it's shone through the lights of your soul. In order for our lights to shine brightly, we need the Holy Spirit to guide our thoughts, words, actions, and decisions. He dwells within us as the flashlight of God's principles, expectations, and continually reminds us how we can be the hand and feet of Christ, guiding people out of darkness and out of sin. So let's take the lid off your light. Place it on a, on a candlestick so you can be that city on the hill. Listen, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. I'm Alice Cornelius, and thank you for joining me on Mana for Thought.